Hey, today we're going to be talking about which tool brand you should buy when you're just starting out your handyman business. So I'm just going to kind of give you a rundown of kind of how I did it and what I would have changed, maybe the pros and cons, all that type of stuff to maybe help you make a choice in one direction or the other. Because um, as you know, there's a lot of different brands and they all have very similar kind of tools and similar price points depending on um, which brands you're actually looking at. So um, yeah, let's just get into it. So I started out with Cobalt, which is a Lowe's brand, the Blue Tools. I started with this for several reasons. When I was first starting, I wasn't exactly sure that I was actually going to be sticking with this and doing it full time or even for more than a couple months or whatever. So I decided to buy Cobalt and I started out with some drills and like an oscillating tool and that kept me going for a while. Uh, I bought, I started my business in August of 2019 and that November on Black Friday, I bought, they had a bunch of tool deals as they usually do. And I bought like a big Cobalt kit and I got, let's see, that it was like a five tool kit. I think you got an impact, a drill, a flashlight, a circular saw, and a one-handed sawzall. I got all that for only like 200 bucks, I think it was, something crazy. And I think it came with a charger and two batteries as well. Two, a uh, four amp battery and I think a two and a half amp battery. And then I also, you bought that kit and you got a free, maybe it wasn't free. Never mind. That was something else. And then on top of that, I bought a um, table saw for like 200 bucks as well. Portable table saw. So that kept me going pretty much until, I don't know, like summer, I guess, that summer. And then I, I was like, well, I'm still doing this. I'm going to keep, I got to keep buying tools. So at that point I started buying a couple more batteries, some more chargers, a couple more tools. And before I knew it, I had everything cobalt. Like I loved them, honestly, like they're great tools. They're very cheap considering, uh, not, not necessarily cheap in quality, but cheap in like price. Like I, I feel like it's very fair for what they deliver and how they hold up. I've dropped them off step ladders no problem like my impacts and drills that work and no problem and um so i started out with that and then as i was getting more serious about it i was like the problem with this is they don't have a very expansive line of tools i mean they got like 40 tools maybe something like that um of the 24 volt not even i mean they have like 80 volt lawnmowers and weed whackers and blowers stuff like that um but they just didn't have everything that i was looking for and so I decided to try out the new Flex line when that came out, I believe, last winter. Um, yeah, last winter, I think it was like October or something. And I was like, I was kind of tempted with the um, the lifetime warranty if you bought it before the first of the year. I was kind of considering that, but they were, I was looking at it. And the thing is too, is that's another Lowe's brand. Like it's supposed to be made to compete with the big guys, which is DeWalt and Milwaukee. But the problem is, is like, it hadn't been tested yet. It was kind of brand new. And I was like, these price points, it was supposed to beat them, but it was like 20 bucks cheaper per tool. Like that's not enough for me to make a decision to guess, I guess, to go full out on the flex. So I bought one to try it out in Impact and I compared it to my Cobalt XTR, which is the new versions that came out, which I do actually highly recommend those. Those are very good tools. They have a lot of power if you look at the specs. Um, that Impact and Circular Saw specifically are pretty, pretty solid. And I also have the big Impact wrench. That thing is pretty beast too. But anyways, enough about Cobalt, I guess. So I tried out the Flex, wasn't really impressed. It kind of worked out about the same as the Cobalt and I was like, it's not worth the price. So. And again, they didn't have the expansive line, which they said they were developing, but at that point they didn't have much out and I'm not sure where they're at at this point. So then that led me to try out, well, actually a guy we were working for, we're building a huge tree house for, maybe I'll make a video about that sometime. It's, it's pretty crazy. It's like two story, 35 feet high. Like it's pretty sweet. Um, maybe I'll put up a picture or something of this. Um, so he actually bought us, we were working in the winter and he actually bought us two heated jackets. Um, my brother and I, because he works with me, the Milwaukee heated jackets. Those things were so nice, by the way. Definitely recommend those. Um, but that kind of got me thinking like, hey, maybe we should go the Milwaukee way. And I'd been thinking about it for a while, but I was like, we already got something Milwaukee. Let's just keep it going. Um, 
And once I like like a brand, I'm like loyal to it. I buy everything that like I have so many cobalt tools. It's ridiculous. Um, so I was like, you know, let's just go Milwaukee. Let's get a shot. So I bought impact driver and long story short, super happy with Milwaukee. And that is definitely where I'm going to stay. They've got all the tools I could ever need. And the, the quality is there. They got a long reputation. Um, not to mention, I love the color scheme. My truck is black and red. So I love the black and red colorway. It's just kind of like, a, I don't know. I've always liked it, but the wall, <sighs> I don't know. I've I've used a bunch of DeWalt tools. Um, had several family members that were contractors and worked for a guy as a contractor, and they were all DeWalt guys, and they make good stuff. Don't get me wrong, but it just it wasn't for me. I just didn't feel like the power was there on a lot of tools, and I don't know. I just I didn't really like it too much. But um, yeah. So I would recommend, I guess, all this rambling to boil this down to this, right? You've got like eight different brands like good brands that you can choose from all of them will get the job done but you got to ask yourself how long am i going to be doing this am i going to be doing this every day um how long do i expect these tools to last and not even the tools as much as the batteries and chargers because that's where the most expensive part is i mean you can buy a drill for like 200 bucks but the battery could be like 300 like just crazy crap like that and then you're like oh crap i need a charger too so all that to say, I would recommend um, shoveling out some extra money for the name brand proven tools. I would go with DeWalt Milwaukee um, just because of their lines. I mean, there's a reason why they're the top guys in the field. And I would just just make the cut right or make the jump right away. Buy the, big, the better tools. You're not going to regret it. Um, even if you don't stay with them, they're going to last you pretty much your lifetime. I mean, the batteries probably won't, but the drill itself will probably last you pretty close to your lifetime at this point. Like, I mean, they, even like just use it around your house in the future, you're going to find some point and you can really resell them too. I mean, you don't get, you get like half of what you bought them for usually. Um, so yeah, I would just make the jump right away because those other tools are like homeowner, do it yourself quality and you need like contractor quality that's going to hold up to the abuse hold up to the um yeah i guess just the abuse like you need something that's going to hold up and also the other thing is it looks so much better when someone calls you to do a job yes they need your expertise to do the job but a lot of time they just don't have the tools to do it even if they could do it themselves and instead of buying all these tools that they're never going to use again or very rarely they're calling you and that's kind of part of your service. That's part of your pricing. You are the guy with the tools and the know-how and you showing up with some crappy tools kind of looks really bad, to be honest. Now, not everyone's gonna think that way. Not everyone's gonna know, unless you're in the space, you, you might not even know the difference, but some people will notice and they're gonna kind of lose a little bit of faith because also it kind of shows like, if you got the good tools, it shows that you're making money. It shows that you got customers. It shows that you're successful. And I'm not saying waste money. I am a big fan of saving your money. I do not spend on anything unnecessary or try not to my best. And um, I just think it really shows like a, another level of professionalism, which you can reflect back on your, your price that you charge. Um, so I think it can actually make you more money in the end run buying the better tools plus you're not buying duplicates to replace everything when it burns out in a quarter half the time of what milwaukee or dewalt would have done for you so yeah hopefully this helped out somebody maybe who my rambling made sense i don't know try my best here but uh hopefully we're getting better at this uh i figured by the end of this month i 30 videos i mean that's gonna be a big more than I've ever done before. So I think it's definitely going to help. But anyways, if you watch this, maybe subscribe, give me a like, give me a comment, tell me what tool we brand you use. And I'd love to talk about it in the comments. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks.